Well, welcome everybody to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. We're going to have a chat today, hopefully a, a nice deep dive, uh, without anger, without getting stressed, but just simply seeing the bigger picture. And we're going to go into, hopefully, a, a very deep dive into darkness and what darkness is, as well as all the things that I've recognized. And uh, I guess the reason why I'm making this is because so many people now are in such a bad place. So many people now are, um, are struggling with... Um, even paying the bills, struggling with, I mean, we are, I don't need to tell you this, um, it, but it is something that's in the back of the mind all the time uh, with most of humanity uh, who, who understand the world like uh, you and I, and that is, um, we know something's wrong and we don't need a, a system, a dark system to tell us. Uh, the only reason why uh, the dark system tells us something is to brainwash us into believing something. But the place that we live in, this this uh, ungodly place, uh, and thank God there are some godly people around, but the place, the system is all dark, and that's possibly why consciousness says this isn't really the world that I came to, this isn't the world we were meant to have come to, so there's got to be some kind of hijacking. Now some will disagree and some people will say, no, no, we chose to come here. Maybe we did, but I think the, the, the game's changed. The, the ball, the, 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 the posts are not in the same place anymore. And I believe that's because of uh, the dark system. And I'm gonna break that down because not many people truly understand what it means. And therefore, when you don't understand what it means, it's like, okay, I kind of understand what it means, but I don't really get it all. So today I'm uh, fitting uh, a new top, which is absolutely bang on for this. So as you look at a beautiful mother nature, and then all of a sudden she turns into a barcode. And that is exactly the conversation we're gonna have today and trying to explain how things are and and so on. So I'd like to get from the world that we live in uh, try to explain to you what I see that the world that we live in all around us to darkness and what is darkness so I want to start with of course what controls this world on a, a brain level on an MK Ultra on a deep uh, dark and uh, deceptive um, ops kind of military industrial complex whether it be um, from above uh, Elon Musk's uh, satellites, whether it be the um, millions upon millions upon millions of posts put up everywhere with a certain frequency being um, given off all the time, all connected, just so you know everything in your life, everything that you do, everything that you eat, everything that you drink, everything that you watch, everything that you feel is all connected to this conversation. Everything, everything is connected. So let's start with um, the sewer, shall we? What is the sewer? Well, the sewer is that what you don't see is underneath. And what you don't see underneath, you don't know what's going on. So that's a sewer. And um, a sewer is predominantly where all the, um, the crap goes, you know, what comes out of your system that needs to leave that bad stuff. And um, it's a cesspit, it's a sewer cesspit. And um, I call that the root canal system. Uh, it's the root cause, root canal, uh, root canal sewer system. So it's it's basically what we live in. Unless, of course, you live in uh, the wilderness, then you've got probably about 50% of that um, root cause um, nowhere near you. It's not affecting you as much. So you don't feel as bad. So that's why a lot of people who don't live in the system, in the cities, they live in the country, their um, their energy is much stronger. Not so much now because of the um, the, the mass um, technology being rained upon us. Uh, I call it human engineering. Um, the you know bioengineering. No, it's human. We're, we're just being engineered. So when you're in the countryside and you you know you just get on with your daily life, you work with Mother Nature, you do your best. You don't really have the time to watch the black screen and to see who's more popular than you are, who's, you know, showing off the Visace Armani and who's in Bali or a beautiful country. You're just getting on with earthly life where you are, where you're meant to be. 
I don't think these phones were actually ever meant for us. I don't think technology was ever meant for us to come into this world. I think it's a hijack. It's been put here by the very dark canal root system. So what is all of these things? Well, on two levels, it's, um, it's something that you see. So you hear, so you hear about it, you see it happening in front of you, post being put up, uh, phone, everything happening on the phone. Um, and so on and then you've got the dark system so you, you've got a, a visual system and then the dark sewer system that you, you just can't see what's going on it's all underneath and it's all the, the shit running through it's all the bad stuff running running through so nobody sees it so everybody's happy but it's still there it's still there and what is that ultimately what it is is darkness it, it, it runs all the way through what I've just said to darkness. So all of these things are part of a dark system, which is run by the very darkness that we live on. So I made a video not so long back, and I've done this for quite a while. I've always said that the earth's never felt godly. It's always been filled with war, constant war. It's never filled with love on TV, ever. It's all fear hate, separation, uh, hate that man, you know, you're not me, you're not like me, your colour, your race, your gender, it's all, it's all created. And as soon as you create that on the black screen, people will inevitably um, fall for the hypnosis. And it happens every day. So what does that mean? Well, when darkness um, employs people in this world, they employ them by um, entering into their body system and the weak of all, weak be not skinny, tired, not saying anything, I'm talking about the weak which are easily manipulated, which will jump from one thing to another without even thinking about it because weakness means they've got They've got no morals at all. They will they look like they've got morals. They'll sound like they've got morals. But when confronted with, you know, uh, greed, wealth, power, fame, they will uh, instinctively follow that. What to me and you would be like that. That's just doesn't make sense. And that's because they're not like you and I. They're they're made up differently in their consciousness. I've said this more and more, but they don't come from the same place as you and I. So, sorry, there are there are a lot of... Uh, so I've got this fan blowing in me, so there's bits just coming. I, I maybe I should clean it a little bit, even though it looks clean. Anyway, so, um, what does the darkness do with these uh, weak people and what is the darkness as well? What does the darkness mean? Is it a, a devil? Is it um, Satan? Is it... Is it um, demonic attachments? Is it entities? I think when you look at the difference between high and low vibration, which everything is, or an energy frequency of high and low, anything which is low and dense and heavy that makes you feel sick and that traps you and that beats you and that enslaves you and that takes from you um, like the school bullet, anything like that, anything that suppresses you in any way is low frequency. Uh, anything high is, is that there isn't, there isn't an allowing. I was just about to say allow, there isn't. High frequency isn't about doing anything. It just is. High frequency is just whoever you are, whatever you do, living a free life, choosing anything you want to do, but do no harm to anybody. So you just live an earthly life and you experience your earthly life, whether they're good moments or bad moments. But through those moments, you, you, you witness, you know, things happening, good and bad. You witness Mother Earth growing. You witness things that are miracles. So that's the earthly life we came to. So all of those things are coupled with creativity, giving, caring, sharing, all of those things that you want to do every day, but you struggle to do it because this low vibration is changing your frequency. 
from the phone, from love to hate, love to uh, spend, love to, you know, um, basically it, it casts a spell on you, but it also it eliminates the connection between your consciousness and your heart. So it feels like it's empty. So all of a sudden you have no purpose. You don't know what to do. You feel depressed. You don't know why you're here. You don't know where you're going. You don't know anything. And that's the, the towers. That's the Elon Musk's um, frequencies all day long. Sorry, guys. You, you, you know, I'll get into Elon Musk and all the rest of them in a minute and I'll explain why. And just so you know, these people sometimes don't even know what they're doing. Did, you just need to look back in history and think about this. Ask yourself how many people did things and then wish they hadn't done it. And it's always about things that are, you know, the atom bomb and things like that. And those that realized this is a big mistake. I've made a mistake, you know. So just because somebody really believes in what they're doing, they can look back in 20 years time and realize that they were actually bought into the very darkness that I'm speaking of. When I speak about the system, you would think the system would be government. And government is only a small part of what I'm talking about. That's the bigger picture. I said to you a few times, what is government? I've asked you the question. I'll put it to you now. What is government? So you would probably say to me, oh, it's this politician. So you think the government is a man in a suit? Uh, no, it's part of that. Right, but he, but he isn't the government, is he? He's just a man in a suit, really. Uh, yeah, he's a man in a suit. Okay, so what is government? Is it a big building down the road? Uh, no, it's not a building. It's because a building is just a building. Right, so what could it be? It's an energy. And here we go right back to the root canal, right back to the system, the sewer, right back to the invisible system, right back to the darkness system, right back to darkness. So it's an invisible entity, which is low frequency. It's dark. Every time you step into that place, every time you speak to one of these salesmen, you know, in a, in a, a suit, kissing babies, telling you everything is going to be okay and we're going to change the world, they are, they are part of the dark entity which is called the system which is darkness it's all intertwined so it's an invisible energy that people bow to that people are enslaved to and to keep that system going you have certain humans that are, are given money to pay to lock you up to tell you if you don't do this will will incarcerate you if you don't do this we will punish you okay and then you've got like I, if i give you an example what pulls you into the darkness is the question you should ask okay stand back what pulls you into the darkness remember all the systems all the things that i spoke about what pulls you into the darkness the dark system okay so you've got first of all you've got your salesmen Okay, they're prominent all over. They normally dress well. They they they're normally in you know you know oh that's an expensive suit. They look fantastic. Or oh, or they're wearing some sort of cloth. That is wow. Because remember the system isn't is is everything that we're looking at. Sorry to say guys, but the system is also the Vatican. It's all it's it's also ideas, ideologies, scientism, all isms is all part of the dark system. So you might get some people in there who truly want to give from their heart and do, but the system never changes. It's always dark. That's why I made I had an interview the other day with a, a girl who worked in the system and she knew she needs to come out. It's not what she wants to do. How many people do you know have gone into the darkness, into the system, and then just couldn't cope? I just can't stand these corps, these corporations. That's the system. And they come out. I mean, I used to read for thousands of people who worked in corporations. And I can tell you the overwhelming majority, the pattern of their one hour or two hour sessions were feeling the worst feeling in the world, working in corporations, having to fight and scratch and scrape to get to the top, having to, you know, prove to themselves, work late and, 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 and you know, go through depression and, and the hate of other people all fighting and scrambling for, for the scraps and, and wanting to get past you. And it's a sewer. It's all connected, remember. It's all darkness. So they all wanted to get out. 
So you realize this and you realize, okay, so your salesmen that pull you in, politicians, preachers, preachers of all types, what clothes they wear. If they're preaching to you to pull you into the system, into religion, it's all the same because all of that keeps you low. It keeps you from being the true self. Religion actually suppresses you from spirituality, 100%. You can believe in God or not believe in God. It doesn't make any difference. Religion will pull you into the cloth and they will give you limitations and they will tell you what you can and can't do. That, is, that isn't godly. We didn't come here to be enslaved by men in, in you know, black cloth or, or red cloth or white cloth. I don't care what color cloth, sorry. It's still part of the same darkness system, whether you like it or not. Then you've got people in white cloth, uh, uh, long cloaks, uh, uh, cloths, uh, with things around their neck telling you, you shouldn't do this, do this, swallow this, don't swallow this. Uh, and they're called um, doctors. So you've got to understand that the doctors are connected to scientism and scientism is a religion and science is also very much that way. They tell you that, you know, everything's safe. Everything is, you know, you don't need to worry about anything. Just swallow this or everything is going wrong which the end it's you know we're all going to be sick and ill just like the men in black cloth it's the end of the world if you don't and you will go to hell and you'll burn in hell blah 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 so all of that is uh, your, your 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 sales pitch so you know you've got men stood up there saying i'm gonna you know change this wall i'm gonna make everything right and then all of a sudden you think hang on a minute you you've just done something that just doesn't feel right what you, you you employed that person isn't that person a dodgy person and then you start to feel bad again and then you realize that that they're all salesmen for the darkness they're all pulling you in they're all salesmen and from that then you go to the next level and there's two levels to this one there's the advertising market campaign le level so we call uh, these marketers and the old marketers are BBC, ITV, CNN, Fox News, and all of them, which are now deteriorating to nothing because people are more aware of it. But then they needed to bring a new set of people in. Again, they don't know they're doing this. They think they're doing it for the good. And these are the new ones that may have got away from CNN on Fox News. So you've got your Tucker Carlson's. This is the new age, the new marketers. So you've got... Uh, people, even even the Rogans, even, you know, um, uh, redacted, um, Piers Morgan, um, uh, the, there's so many, there's, there's, there's so many new ones now. And then there's also another uh, range of, of podcasters who are now doing the same thing, interviewing, you know, famous people, interviewing uh, those that are part of the system. So what they do is they're the marketers, they're, they're the advertisers for darkness. So they tell you that we hate Fox News, we hate CNN, but that's what you, you they, they know you want to hear this because you now realize that, that you, you're aware of that bullshit, but now they need to bring you into another bullshit. So now, okay, we know that's bullshit, CNN, you uh, know, uh, all of the mainstream, but now the new mainstream, the podcasters, the influencers are doing exactly the same thing. They're pulling you into, even, even though you say, yeah, but it's Trump. Oh, but we, we, we don't like what's going on in, in politics. And, but they're still pulling you into it. Every day you're watching everything about politics. The, what just happened a, a couple of days ago was whether it was or not, doesn't matter. The darkness plays, it's, it, it, the darkness ultimately creates everything through people. So it doesn't matter who did it, who didn't do it. Did it happen this way? Did it happen that way? It happened. And what happened, it's now done a hypnosis on those that were on the fence or didn't believe. And now I believe. I want this now and I'm going to pay so much money towards this new man and he's the, the only man now and hang on stop a minute sit down Tracer sit down Sharon I know it, you know I know what's happened and it, and people have died and it's it's horrific and that's darkness for you 
But don't blame everybody else. Don't blame this and don't blame, but just listen, sit down. I know you're all excited and you all think now you've got your new hero. Whenever you need a hero, you will get one. Remember that. So what do you think happened? Oh, you did. You thought all that happened. All right. So you didn't look at the bigger picture. You just saw what happened. But ask yourself this question. From 10 years ago till now, how big and how powerful now do you think the voting system has become? How many people have been hypnotized now from what's happened to go to vote, to now believe in politics again? Because of somebody getting shot or somebody telling you what they want to hear. All I'm saying, guys, it's an amazing system that we feed. In one way or another, all of us feed it. Whether we're watching it and putting our time into it, whether we're talking about it, we feed this incredible system. And I do not like the system, but I do look at it and think, friggin' hell. That is some powerful system. Whoever created that, whether it was technology from another world, you know, alien advanced technology, whether it's darkness that has created this, you've got to admire it because people get pulled back into it day after day after day. And you keep getting, you, you're, you keep bringing yourself back into it. You keep bringing yourself back into it. And the podcasters and the, the Rogans and all that keep bringing you back into it from one way to another. They'll bring you back into the very system all the time. The system wins every time. At one time I used to sit down and think I hated cash. People used to say, yeah, but it's a good thing. And I'm like, I don't like cash. Why not? Because... I worked for a full day, hard, and you give me a piece of paper. Who, who convinced me? Who convinced you? Who convinced anybody that a piece of paper was worth anything? I will work for you for that piece of paper. And only now I look back and think, we, we're in prison to paper. You know, there are some of us who go out to work in a day and we'll, we'll do a full day's work at somebody's house. I did it for many years and help people in the gardens and stuff and never wanted anything. It was called energy exchange and it was love and it was kindness and maybe Aunt Ger Auntie Gertie, uh, if you want my auntie, but maybe I uh, helped around the house and did this for her and uh, you know, she'd give me some fruit or uh, sit me down and, and have something to eat and she'd be really kind to me and, Universal exchange, giving giving out one hour to somebody and somebody giving an hour back if I ever needed somebody help. Not that I hold you to it, but it's my love and I like energy exchange because it's energy. Whereas a piece of paper, it's almost like a manipulation to be able to get more paper. So I need to cheat, I need to hustle, I need to do things that maybe I shouldn't do to get more paper. That means that I can then have the bigger and better house and and I can go on holiday and I can have whatever I need or the drugs. But if you take the paper away and you say to somebody, you know, I'm gonna do a full day's work um, and give you a full day's work and, and the exchange back is energy um, giving to each other, then you're not killing each other or fighting each other um, for this green paper. So now, now we've been, I'm only giving you th thoughts, okay? You might think this is all nonsense, it's okay, because you can easily say, and look, there's arguments left, right and center. You could easily say, yes, but Mark, at least when I've got a 10 pound note, I can go and spend it anywhere I want. Well, yes, because you're part of the system and that's the system. What I'm advocating for is that we don't have the darkness system, so we change everything, but that won't happen because people don't believe in it and people want the system. That's why you get the government you deserve and you deserve the government you get. And that's why I try and advocate for people to change in themselves and to be that energy and not be hooked into all of that. Yeah, you have to dip in and dip out because you know that the wolves bit are at your door. If I don't pay my taxes, they will incarcerate me for sure. So we know the darkness is an enslaver. And by recognizing that, you change your life. So like I said, the, the 50 pound or the 10 pound note, given to different people is always a 10 pound note. We've heard this many times, but now 
the system has, has realized this, the darkness realizes this and realizes that you've got freedom with that, that um, even though we didn't want you to have freedom, even though we wanted you to fight and kill for that piece of paper now. But now it's changed even more, it's got even darker and more sinister. So now the paper, they realize that the little freedom that you can give to somebody and then we can't, we can't get our Texas, we can't get our money on that, we want our piece of that cake. Well, you can't if you're passing it to one person to another as, as you, you know, your, uh, your work and you're giving money to somebody and they can't account for that. So a lot of the times money goes around and they can't take their, 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 their greed, their evil, their cesspit that they're trying to pull into the sewer. Sometimes, you know, I, I revert to a, a pot of gold that they're all trying to grab, right? Because it's all part of the darkness and the system and that everybody who works in it is just that way. They just, they want, they want, they want, and they'll create whatever they can. They'll create wars, they'll create lies, they'll create anything to take that money that, that you're earning every day because they do. They take your money every day from the system. They, you're in the system, they take your money every, every week, every month. So they take it and they steal it. It's basically stealing. They rob you. They're, they're, they're swindlers. They're cheats. They're hustlers. They're, they're the cesspit of, of humanity. And they're all connected to darkness. But now what they realize is that that 10 pound note being passed around everywhere, they can't, they can't get their greasy, dirty, horrible, stinking parasite hands on it. So now what they do is they realize that we need to get rid of paper. And now we need to change it into invisible nothing. So it's nothing, but it's all in numbers. So now we've gone from paper to working and to killing for paper. Now we're going to numbers. We're going back to noughts and zeros, numbers. Where's that come from? Oh, don't worry about it, mate. We just make it up. What, you mean my mortgage? You're not getting tens of thousands of these dollars and pounds and stacking them up and saying, there you go, mate. Oh, no, no, no. We just type numbers in and you're going to be a slave for the rest of your life. Well, I kind of do that now with my card. Oh yeah, great. You keep using your card. Because every time you use it, we take 3%, 2%, 1%, 5%. Right, you're right. You keep taking money from my card. So I keep losing money. That's why we're changing money. There's not going to be any paper anymore because we can't do that to you every time you make a transaction. Jesus Christ, you thieving pigs. Yeah, we are. You know, bank robbers, they used to come into town with masks on and guns. Oh, they've always been inside the banks. We're the robbers. Yeah, you're right. So now, from these cards that you cleverly made us think that this was easy and wonderful, now you're stealing not just 1% or 2%, but now you're going to totally enslave us by saying, you've been a naughty boy this week. We're going to stop your numbers. Well, I, oh shit, numbers? Where's money? I've got no money. I can't, oh, oh God, I can't eat. I want to give that man some money on the street who's got no money and skin. I want to give my daughter a bit of money. Can't. It's all numbers. And if you're a bad boy and you're a bad girl and you don't play to the dark system, then it's game over. All I'm saying, guys, is what I share with you today is just thoughts that I realized many years ago until this moment that we are enslaved by a system of darkness and evil. We are not living in God energy. We're not living on the earth created by Mother Nature and that is everything. Mother Nature is no longer. Mother Nature is being killed by weakness of man, humanity, by the darkness that is now more than ever coming through the portals from CERN and all of those awful, awful people that we bow down to that puts hundreds of thousands of, of man-made AI technologies in the sky. We're getting sicker by the day. There are more diseases that... that the dark system scientists are making up so you've got new tablets to feed you more illness and sickness. It is a perfect darkness that is being created in this world. And 99% of the people are in that darkness and feeding that darkness every day. 
So your question to me now after 30 minutes is, yeah, yeah. All right, so we know all of this. What are you going to do? And if you're saying that, then you're part of the problem. Now, if you watch this after 30 minutes and say, shit, I need to change my life. I need to change where I spend my pounds. I need to change where I am. I need to, I need to change everything about how I live. Then you understand and you've got it and you are smart and you are intuitive. It always starts with yourself. I'm wishing you a lovely day. Take care. If, if I upset you, I'm sorry. It wasn't meant to be. I just want to share some thoughts and feelings that might just, I don't know, awaken something inside you to realise that you are the power and you are the change. Nobody else is here. There is no saviour. There is no God. There is no Jesus coming to you. There isn't, guys. It's all inside you to make that change. Maybe God, maybe Jesus is already within us that we need to wake up and maybe the, the words of depression, the words of sickness is merely a message from your consciousness saying that this is not how you should be living. This isn't how you should be eating. This isn't what you should be drinking. This isn't what you should be leaving. I advocate change, but change for you. Change for freedom for you. No more enslavement and do our best to change, to make the change so people can see it. That's all, that's all we can do. You're not here to fix the world, but you're here to make a difference. So shine your light, go back to nature, eat healthy, stay away from poisons, stay away from man-made poisons. Mother Earth gave you everything you needed. Have a great day. Food for thought. <laughs>